Hi, Carl. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Great talk. Great talk. Um, my question has to do with uh, the term, when you use the term action, I, there's a confusion in that with me, and I don't know if it's a physical, a mental, a, a combination, or or maybe it has to do with what uh, um, what you're reacting to. I'm, I'm not even, I'm not really sure. Well, can you tell me the context, Car Carl, that you're referring to? Well, um, myself, um, usually, oh, you know, two and three, four times a week. In the morning, I wake up and there's this real heavy feeling. It's a negative state, and I'm, I'm going, what, what's you know, what's the action here? Okay. And I, I'm always thinking that I'm using an action to um, cover it up, even. Yes. And I'm, that's not the point. No, that's not the point. That's correct. Any action that you take towards a persistent, painful, negative state, call it what you will, depression, anxiety, fear, any action taken toward a negative state like that is in fact the extension of that state itself. The task is not to be uh, dragged, as it were, convincing ourselves to take some action towards a negative state because Carl if we're present enough we can see that the 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 I the me that wants to take that action that's looking for that action that I did not exist until the condition it resists and if that I did not exist before the condition it resists that means that I is in fact part of that consciousness and its condition. So it isn't real action at all. It is the perpetuation of the pain, not the solution to it. Does that help at all, Carl? Well, the, the clarity is in, in seeing how it's being affected, but do I Okay, do okay, I all right, listen, I, I got <laughs> it. I... Listen, stop, Carl. <laughs> I, listen, it's very natural, your confusion. It means at least you're there trying to work. Carl, you want the condition to go away. That's resistance to the condition. Resistance to the condition is the condition being resisted. Do not try to make the condition go away. Do not try to find an action that will free you from it because the very action or search for that condition validates first the self that's actually experiencing that and then creates someone who's going to rescue you from that. We don't understand yet well enough that there is a, an order of awareness, a, 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 a place of observation within us that is not for or against the condition that's revealed. It is simply the revelation of the condition and the consciousness responsible for it. So that rather than dividing myself up from the condition, I want to somehow escape. I enter into an awareness that is the integration of that consciousness and the state, Carl. And then I start to see at the absolute futility of trying to escape something that on one hand, if you want to write this down, resistance, Carl, is self-stimulation. Resistance is self-stimulation. Now, what if I knew that as I'm sitting there resisting the condition, it's because something in me is stimulated by not wanting to be that. And if something's stimulated, what's, what, what in God's name wants to be stimulated by a dark depression? Oh, a consciousness that loves it. It's seeing this, Carl, that changes our understanding. And as our understanding changes, so does our relationship with those unwanted moments. I hope that helps.